Don't think I like the look of that. Not at all. <sighs> we integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of a laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that we drag them from holding pens onto the line. Oh, from holding pens onto the line. They are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and is kept well lit to maintain good spirits. And we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means that we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly defective, if, if effective in this regard. Okay, that's good. So they're talking about the pigs when they put the pigs on the on the uh, on the, the slaughtering thing. They they make it nice and bright, and they play some nice music so that the pigs don't feel like they're about to be slaughtered horribly. You see. It bothers me that there was a tiny little lag spike there. Our big pile of dead pigs. Aha, uh -huh, that's locked. Oh god, I can move the pigs. Holy crap. Must be pretty heavy, damn. The the protagonist is a uh, a strong lad. I'm sorry, what? What is... What is going on in there? Do I have to go out here? This is out on the street. A bit weird. What's, what's this door? Oh. It is but a storage room. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man. As, as if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rustling carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets, alleys and gutters running freely with their careless spill of their conjoinings, the air thick with the whimperings of lust, bodies streaked with their own emissions. <laughs> wow. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers by, and yet this is the condition baggage us bab babbage aspired to. Nice. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods into bicker and fornicate. What? No, we should not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon. Enough. Soon enough. I... Good. <sighs> if I can't read, it's my fault. Shut up. Go away. Um, it's not your problem. Just read it in your head. I don't know. I'll cut it out. <laughs> the hell is that? Oh, it's a journal entry. Magia. Oh god, look how many entries there are, I haven't been reading them. 
Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage. If somewhat repetitive, Alice referring to the fuse box from earlier. The stench in these barrels is quite discomforting. I would, in I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry from is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. Ah, oh, good, yeah. The path is clear. It seems this chemical processor is merely one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then. I will follow my feet with the calls of my children wherever they may lead me as I move further into this strange empire. So it's not his. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm sure it'll become very clear in a minute of a while. The factory offices. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is as every bit of someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex. Yet this facade, when it is examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. And what he said about this little bit. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarram and Mr. Sims Simmons' works, but the smells here are all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Shush, 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 shush. Good one, David. You but. I'm not liking the occasional weird clunk we get from just somewhere. That's a bit weird. Should I turn this? Warning! Fueling pumps. Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Highly corrosive? It doesn't sound like petroleum to me. Not that I'm an expert in petroleum or anything, but... I wouldn't have thought that petroleum was highly corrosive. Fine, we'll go out onto the street where all the creepy things are. Good. Fine, nothing there. Great. That's a bit of cloth. Thought it was a, a pig. Papa, let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Um, okay. Well, what did he write? Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it doesn't suggest another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however. Almost as the saboteur knew I might consider this alternative entrance. Oh, hang on a sec. Keep it dreaming, that's the first one I found. Okay, good, right. Hey, the moon! Look at the moon, it's nice and creepy. We like the moon. Okay, that... Okay, okay, that... That wasn't... Was that, was that just a pig? Did someone... Oh. Oh, what's in the cage? Oh, a lot of nothing. That was weird. All the lights suddenly started flicking and flashing and went out. It was weird. Very weird. What's wrong with this? What? What is it? If I picked up like a bomb or something, that'd be really bad. <laughs> a strange container. This canister looks as if it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. 
I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and I, and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to the to Saint Dunstan's. Uh, wow, I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. Was it a pig, or was it like some sort of weird mutant pig man? The haunted pig man! Oh god, I have to cut that out. That's, um, that's, that's pretty much illegal right there. Yeah, it looks a bit like a fuel canister to me. It looks aight. Um. Oh, there we go. What is this stuff? Oh, really? That was, um... Is that thing coming down here? What did I write? What did I write? What did I write? Oh god. Oh god. A fast getaway. Are you kidding me? Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature. It, that nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto hallowed ground. Why? Oh, shitting hell. I'm just gonna leg it. I'm just gonna leg it. I I can't be having with that thing. Like eating my soul, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a note here. There's a note here. I'm gonna read this note. <gasps> How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules? If even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function. These cursed newfangled trucks with a, will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says, it's fine, and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you'll end up dragging the blessed tank from the pump to the nearest, from the truck to the nearest one to refill it. And the one in the store is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night. En enough for a night for me to go to bed. Um, well, butcher that sense of the night. It's not like anyone needs to access the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the dams Damson Templar for a jar. Pissing hell. Let me, let me drive the, let me drive the truck. Are you kidding me? Oh, pissing hell. How do I get this? Go, go, go. I do not like whatever the hell that was. Oh, come on. I put the gasoline in the thing. How do I make it go? Go, you bastard, go, you frickin'... Oh, God, it's like a crank on the front. Of course, there's a crank on the front. What? It's a good thing this isn't timed or anything, because I have no flippin' idea how to get this truck moving. The bloody truck. I've done the crank. So, oh, the, I can't get through the gap. The bloody truck is in the way. I hate this game. Why am I playing this? Fucking hell. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Fine. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? 
Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Oh, birdie. I really could could do without that pig thing coming to eat my face. I'm going to just close this gate real quick. There we go. No evil pigmen things to come and eat my face. Ah, oh, that, that thing with the truck. That was annoying. You can get angry at me, but that was... But how would I have thought of that? Okay, never mind. Don't fuck with me, existence. That would be a piss take if that were to happen now. It's only quarter to two. Fuck your life. Oh, g what? Did something just move down the end of the corridor there? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. We sat here. I remember. We sat on our in 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 our black, and we mourned, and we prayed, and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then. How I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained with me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. Oh, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. That whole business with the, uh... Chairs! I'm glad they brought back these horrible clanky metal chairs from these... Ooh, hello. Hello, doors. Hello. Oh, God, there are so many doors. Well, this goes up. Right, I'm gonna go in here. Just to see if there's any hauntings. It's I find it disturbing that all the wardrobes are locked. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Mm hmm. A Bible, as we'd expect to see in a church. Oh my, the church is even creepier than outside. What is going on? <laughs> 